Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about Devika. So we had Devin. Now Devika is trying to be an open source replacement of Devin. So what I'm going to do in this video is just explore Devika in detail. And then we are going to set everything up. So we'll do the installations and I've seen people are facing difficulties in getting the installation done and uh, getting the things ready and running this devika system so what they have is uh, it's it's coded in the python environment so for the backend and the closed and open source models both are being used and the front end is developed in a javascript uh, environment so the inputs from the front end goes to the back end and the back end spits the output and we get the reply so let's check it out uh, devika here it is so Devika is an agentic AI software engineer. It is trying to be an open source replacement of Devin, which is the first AI software engineer. I'm sure we have already seen Devin and the capabilities of Devin that is pretty good. And now let's look at Devika. Of course, this is an Indian name. Uh, let's go. And you have Devika, which is an agentic AI software engineer that can understand high level human instructions, break them down into steps, research relevant information and write code to achieve the given objectives. Devika aims to be a competitive open source alternative to Devin by Cognition AI. Uh, these are the instructions. You can see the demo here. So what we can do is we can just put in prompt here, implement a, you know, a game. Then it thinks step by step. It has access to the browser as well. It can, it can browse the internet. It writes code by itself. And we can just run the code and see that uh, the game is working. So the key features before we move on to the installation very quickly uh, of Devika is that it supports Claude 3, GPT-4, GPT-3.5 and local LLMs via Olama. For optimal performance, you use the Claude 3 family of models. It has advanced AI reasoning and planning capabilities, contextual keyword extraction, seamless web browsing, code writing in multiple programming languages, dynamic agents, state tracking and visualization, natural language interaction via chat interface, okay, project-based organization and management, extensible architecture for adding new features and integrations. Now system architecture, we have the user interface, core agent, large language models, planning and reasoning, research module, code writing, browser interaction, knowledge base and database. We can look at the architecture for more details. If you go to the architecture, you can have a read. Uh, it would be boring uh, for me to go through all these. You can have a read by yourself. I will paste in a link. But what we are more focused here is to get it installed and running so that we can, you know, reap the benefits of this uh, beautiful piece of repo. So first and foremost, what I need to do is go to my Visual Studio Code Editor and select a folder where I'm going to work. I'm going to open up a new terminal and in this terminal, I'm going to do the installation. First and foremost, we need to clone the repo. So go ahead on the top and clone this repo. So copy this, go to Visual Studio Code. I say git clone and paste in the link this is going to clone in the repo i changed the directory to devika and now i'm inside devika here so these has all the instructions let's look at the requirements.txt oh uh, first of all let's create a conda environment let me clear this first so conda create dash n let's say devika 1 uh, python 311 and dash y so this is going to create an environment in the name of Devika 1, which is where we are going to do the installations of the uh, requirements.txt. So let's look at the steps uh, while this is loading and installing. So the first step that we need to do is that we need to clone this. We have changed this to Devika. Okay, we can go down and see this. So the first steps uh, we have done Second step is done. Next step, we need to install the requirements. But before that, I'm setting up a new environment. Let's see if the environment is ready. It's not yet ready. Okay, so after the environment is ready, we need to install the requirements and then we need to install the Playwright install as well for installing the browsers in Playwright, you know, browsing the internet with the Playwright. Next, we need to set up the API keys. 
so in the configuration action we can go to the api keys let's see if our environment is ready yes it's ready so we say conda activate devika1 so cls so we, we are inside the devika1 let's install the requirements pip install dash r requirements dot txt okay this is going to install all the requirements now we have this config.tml so double click and you can see that we need to put in some keys here so i'm going to use uh, cloud api and i need the bing uh, search as well so i go to get the api key for bing and i say bing uh, search api key let's see bing web search api let's see if i have a login i can click on try now okay you can create a new one you can go to pay as you go and you can just create a new resource group we can put in a name you can select the pricing tire as the first one here 100 uh, 1k calls per month and then you need to click this to read and understand the information so you can review and create so since i've already created one so let me go and click on the already created one so i've created this devika calls uh, i can go to the keys and endpoints here and i'm going to take in the key here copy the key and paste it in the bing okay so i paste it here next i need the api keys of the cloud as well so i go to cloud api uh here is the cloud api you can see the api keys here i'm going to create a new key and i'm going to say devika1 create a key and i'm going to copy the key here and go back and paste it here Control s and we can safely close the config tml this is still installing these uh, libraries and just wait for the installation now we can close this requirement as well and then i'm going to go back to the instructions so where were we we have done the api keys configuration now we are at this step pip install dash r requirements uh, we need to install this as well playwrights install with dev so I copy this and once this installation is done we're going to put in and install the play right as well okay so the installations has been done i'm going to say cls to clear this so i'm going to copy play right install with depths and just paste this so this is also done next let's run this so python devika.py so let's run this python devika.py so this is the devika.py file it has all the coding that is necessary to get it started and running let's see if this is able to load up so olama server not running please start the server to use models from olama okay we need olama so i'm gonna just run olama uh, i'm sure you know how to run olama i have tons of videos on my channel how to use olama basically you go to the uh you know olama.ai and since i'm on my windows we can go to downloads here and just install for windows and get it installed we can see this logo on the right bottom we have olama running so we can just say allow access this should now start the flask server here let's see okay it's starting up flask app devika and i think uh, this is pretty good this is the first part this is the backend where you know devika is running next we need the front end as well which is coded in the ui folder here a little difficulty i've seen people in uh, implementing the ui part which is the front end but fear not we have that under control so what i need to do is first of all i need to install something known as bun so in the windows uh, if we have uh, a powershell so this works in a powershell i'm going to paste this link we want to install this bun here but i'm on my windows so i'm going to use this command so i'm going to copy this and uh, search for powershell and i got the powershell prompt and just paste in the link you know here so it's going to install what i'm going to do is now you can type in bun and see if it is installed so it installed correctly now what i'm going to do is go to that folder where the ui is present okay 
so i'm gonna go to that folder where ui is present so i'm just gonna say copy path and i'm gonna go to my powershell prompt and cd to that path so we are inside that part now now once you are inside the path from the powershell we can go ahead and uh, run this you can go ahead and uh, do the bun install so i'm gonna say bun install this is going to install the requirements from the bun side which is you know inside the ui folders so this all are installed this package is installed i'm gonna say bun run dev this is going to load up the white dev now we have this url so just copy the url at port 3000 and just wait for a minute so we have this port running at 3000 i'm going to go to a browser and say open up the localhost 3000 so pretty cool this opens up the interface of devika congratulations now you know this is just one half of the journey now in order to use this system we have a different set of instructions so what you can do is we can uh, open up the web interface in the browser that is done we can create a new project here so we can create uh there is some issue just gonna close this and even stop this so i'm going to run devika again python devika.py now we have olama running as well so let's wait this is booting up loading sentence transformer bird models initializing devika initializing this we go back to powershell and start up the bun run dev as well we have this running so i'm gonna copy this and uh, it's the same thing basically we load up the front end as well now i should have been able to use these models okay so we go back and you can see it's responding now okay so in the front end we can see that we have these models that you can select so i'm going to select let's say claude sonnet and i'm going to open up a create new project and i'm going to say it devika let's say test and say okay and you can put in a command here uh, you know write me a snake game in python okay and i'm gonna say send so this is going to send the message here and at the back end if we see uh, do we have anything going on uh not yet but let's see okay we have something going on so we have sure i can help you with that let me create a step-by-step -step plan to develop a snake game in python so here is my step step one is a research the game step two is explore python libraries step three set up the development environment uh step four is design the game structure step five is implement the game logic step six create the user interface seven implement game loop eight test the game nine optimize the game ten enhance the game it is doing the web searching as well uh, step 10 is enhance the game with additional features step 11 decode the code and create a readme file with instructions for running the games step 12 is package the game for distribution or deployment i think this covers everything that is necessary for developing a game and uh, scaling and marketing the game okay devika says i'm browsing the web to research the following queries snake game rules mechanics rules movements scoring games over conditions python game development libraries framework for snake game if i need anything i will m make sure to ask you that's so browsing the web right now let it uh, browse and uh, i will fa fast forward everything so let me record this session and i will fast forward everything that is being done so we can watch how devika is performing let me just minimize and right now it's browsing the web right now and after that i expect it to use the terminal and code the things up for me okay while this is writing code we can go back to the projects folder uh, where we should have the output here so i think this is the requirement pi game and this is a snake game and it's writing the main file here okay it's writing the code uh, we can open the readme as well and uh, now what i can do is open up a new command prompt okay uh, go to the conda instant the conda library or conda environment that i have 
create it so i can say conda i'll activate devika one so we are inside of devika i can go inside this folder as well so cd to devika then cd to projects uh, dash and devika test okay i'm inside that i can install the requirements here so i can say pip install and dash r requirements.txt this is going to install the pi game that we have here so again this is the code that devika has wrote you know devika test was the name of the uh, entire setup that i've given here devika test and it has written this code up for me uh, let's check up and let's test the code so readme file you can just have a look at the readme file so it is a simple implementation of a classic snake game using the pygame library in python install python install the required dependencies okay we've done this so just python main.py so i can say python main.py let's see all right <laughs> it's pretty cool uh, let's do this again i'll just control this not let it touch the walls and that is i think it's pretty cool so let me play it and let me okay i missed this this is interesting it's turning out to be a fun project man so it does uh, able to you know browse the internet and do this so i think that is pretty great okay i'm just gonna crash this oh yeah did you like it i go back to the browser and you can see that i think this is finished it's it says writing code i think it's debugging the code however this is just a first version and i'm uh, really impressed with the outputs here so the outputs will be available in in the projects folder and it has made three files requirements.txt the readme file and the main file which runs the entire game so i will list down all the steps in the description section and you can have a run after you do the installations correctly people are having issues with the installation and therefore this is a video dedicated to that now i think you would be able to run devika agentic ai software engineering with your own open source llms this brings to the end of the video but i would like to divert your attention to another video of mine just a previous video where we see we how we can deploy the nvidia's ai models which are free of cost about 10,000 calls are free you can go to the ngc console and you can see a host of different models that you can call via api even the open source models uh, as well are hosted there so i think people really like this video so having said that i think this should be the end of the video quite a long video subscribe to my channel for more interesting content like this watch out this next video on nvidia's open endpoints thank you and have a nice day